He is the cherry on top, not the whole damn cake. A lot of women get caught up trying to make the man the whole cake. And when you fill your cup and create so much flow that it overflows, then what's in the overflow is for him. And that's so attractive, ladies. I know you know this because you've been around people like this that are so full that they don't need you. What's up, y'all? Preston Smiles here. Blessings and blessings. If you are new to the tribe, new to my vibe, and this is your first time dancing in the Love's Voice family, make sure that you make it to the end because I always leave one of the best tips for last. Today's transmission, five ways to get the guy what every woman should know. Now take it from me. I was not the easiest guy to lock down, but my wife did pretty much all five of these steps, and I know she didn't do it consciously, but when I really thought about what actually tips a man over the edge, what makes a man lean in instead of running away, these were the five tips, the five ways that I believe really make the difference when attracting a man into your life. Now, way number one to call in Yopu, yo man, is to leave him space. Ladies, you know like I know that when a guy is thirsty and constantly trying to like, you know, when are you gonna call me? When are we gonna hang out? When are we gonna, like that gets really unattractive. And so one of the best things you can do when you meet a guy and you guys are swimming in each other's energy is to create enough space, leave him space to hunt you. You know, there's still a part of all of us that have that reptilian brain, which means that old brain, that hunter and gatherer. Traditionally, the women were the gatherers and the men were the hunters. And there's still an aspect of all men to this day that wants to hunt, that wants to go after something. And when you take that away from him, by constantly checking in and really wanting to know how it's gonna work out and if you're gonna marry him and all that stuff, then you take that away. You, you take away the gamesmanship. And I'm not saying to play games or that guys like playing games. What I am saying is that there's an aspect of all of us that wants to go after our women, especially in this society where women, you guys can do all the same stuff we can. And so leave us just that space uh, to come after you. Way number two that will attract a man and keep a man, how to get the guy, is to, and I love this one, touch him, touch him, touch him. Ladies, you would be so surprised at how many men do not get touched, and whenever we do, it's like other men, and it's like really aggressive. We are used to, you know, sort of football tackles and punches and what's up, bro, and hard smacks on the ass. And if you touch a man, this is like our kryptonite. If you touch our face softly and just do little things like a hand on our, you know, chest or shoulder or just, you know, like lean into us, all this kind of stuff, we're like jelly. Like you got us all day, every day. So touch him. Physical touch, we have become a society that's so digital and so swipey that we forget that all humans need touch. And especially men because we grow up so distant from each other. And so the last time we were used to being touched is usually by our mothers. You know, there's, there's a lot of men who go to um, hire escorts and prostitution and do things of this nature because they need touch. And I'm not justifying any of those acts. What I'm reminding you is that if there's a guy in your space, just make sure, just play with it. See what happens if you put your hand on his hand. Because you guys, you're, you, what you don't understand about you guys is your skin is so soft, right? Like you guys are like scrubbing everything and you have those loofah gloves and you're like, you know, scrubbing everything. And we're like super hard, like look at that. My elbow's ashy as hell right now. We're like hard and like, you know, kind of rough around the edges so when a woman with all that beautiful soft skin and that that feminine thing that she has like places that on us it's like game over like hug him kiss him touch him softly game over or the beginning of the game because you got them at that point way 
Number three, to get the guy, to attract the man and keep the man, is to compliment him on something that is very unique. Let's just take a guy who, who who's like a bodybuilder. Clearly, I'm not one of those guys because I'm super skinny, but let's just take a guy who lifts weights all the time, right? Now, let's say if, he's, is, if he is receiving a compliment from a woman, nine out of 10, it's gonna be like, oh, you have a nice body, or like, you have nice abs. Think about what aspect of him it takes to even get those abs and compliment that. So it would be something like this. Oh my God, Teddy, I love, like, love, 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 like all that you do. But one of the things I really want to just like express is like how disciplined you are. Like it's really admirable how disciplined you are and how like no matter what you wake up at 6 a.m. every day and do the same routines. And I just want to say that it's so admirable and don't laugh at my version of a girl. The point being is that that is a unique compliment towards an aspect of his way of being that most people don't even recognize. They only praise the body. They don't get what it takes to even get there. You understand what I'm saying? Beautiful. Way number four, to swim in and create a vortex for this man to basically kryptonite where he can't be without you is to call him out and call him forward. And what I mean by that, ladies, and this is a juicy one, what I mean by that is a lot of you, when you like a man, you allow these red flags and these certain things to happen because you don't want to be left. You don't want to be lonely and you ignore and turn your back to some of the things that do not work for you. And one of the best things you can do, and my wife did this, is spank him. Not like hard, but like, like, mm-mm, that's not gonna work here. Not, mm-mm, this is queen. You only show up as king in this space. That, I'm telling you, is so attractive. It's super attractive to a man. And this is all assuming that the man is ready to even be in your vortex. Not all men are ready to be in your space like that. But if he is ready and you own that aspect of yourself and have standards and boundaries and like, yo, you said you were gonna show up at this time, you did not, therefore, I will not be going on that date with you. Call me tomorrow if you wanna go on a date. You get to make that up. That type of commitment to yourself, pff, super attractive. Way number five, which kind of goes with number four, that is the ultimate game changer, like this is how you get the guy. If you only do number five, you win all day, every day, I promise you. And that is to be you, to be dope, to be awesome, to be epic, to be the greatest version of yourself, to be so consumed with your vision and becoming the greatest version of yourself that he is the cherry on top not the whole damn cake. A lot of women get caught up trying to make the man the whole cake. And when you fill your cup and create so much flow that it overflows, then what's in the overflow is for him. And that's so attractive, ladies. I know you know this because you've been around people like this that are so full that they don't need you. And because they don't need you, you want to be around them even more. There's an aspect of their personality that is so dropped in, so loving, so passionate, so deeply on purpose that there's a part of you that's like, yo, I want some of that. So instead of you needing it over there, do it for you and the whole game changes. I promise you. I promise you. Now, ladies, if all of this felt really juicy and magical and you want more, I actually have a free course on five ways to overcome fear and achieve more, which will go you know, hand in hand with you filling up your cup and giving from the overflow. And so go to PrestonSmiles.com forward slash overcome and I will send you that free course. I love you all so much. Blessings and blessings from my heart to yours. Being in this thing is so amazing. And so do not skip the journey. Do not skip the process of attracting and calling in and swimming in it. Sometimes you need to date 30 people before you get to that one. And so just swim in it, get in the dance, and be in the dance because every guy that comes into your vortex, every person that you're dating comes into your vortex, gets you one step closer to that one person who is your one. I love you so much. If this resonated, please share, tag, like, do all that juicy stuff. 
blessings and blessings from my heart to yours is going down in a beautiful major way. I am, we are, hashtag, love's voice. 